Hey everyone, welcome back. And in this video, let's just do a cyclic loop of the words. So if the word count becomes too long, you can see that if I start writing too many words at a given time, you can see that it kind of pushes it all the way down. So we don't really want that. What we want is that the words should get replaced here automatically. So what we can do is we can say that if word blocks dot length is in fact greater than uh, maybe let's say 16 or 15 or whatever. So what I can do is I can say word blocks is in fact word blocks dot slice and I can slice it from one and yeah that's pretty much it right so what I want to do uh, is basically let's just make it lit so what I want to do is I just want to set it I just want to remove one element out of it right so if I hit save now what we're gonna see is the following so now or actually you could just have used splice as well it does not really matter so now if I try to write a lot of words you can see that they kind of all right so now we have a little bit of problem here and the reason for this is because we do not really want to set the active index if we are slicing the word back because you know technically speaking if you're slicing it back the active index should remain same so that should probably fix the problem so now if we try it you can see now that it works just fine right so there's another problem now and the problem is that now whatever word which we are inserting is actually uh, the same word because now we are not changing the active index right so what we can do is instead of doing something like this we can always do it like this but what we can do is we can maintain another index called maybe called remove index remove index and set remove index right and what we can do is just say word blocks of remove index is null and after that i can just increment the set remove index as well index or maybe count is plus plus count right so yeah anyway so what we can do is this is just word type or null right so there we have it all right so typescript is complaining about something here i don't know really why but uh, yeah let's just see so if i have a word type here what's the problem typescript all right so now what we want is i'm just gonna throw this as any because typescript is really bugging me right now so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna actually filter the list first of all with the boolean and then i'm gonna say that this is of word type strictly and it's still not really working so let's just get it straight so i'm gonna say word block is a block as word type and there we are right so now if we go ahead and take a look at this we're gonna see that it works just like you're gonna expect it right so yeah so yeah that's that's pretty much it about it right so yeah that's all for this video if you liked it don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then in the next one